PDF and Peach Tools. Hey, today I want to have a bit of a chat about um, plasma cutters with built-in air compressors and uh, are they really worth the money? Um, because I've looked at three of them here and I've uh, borrowed one off my mate actually and used it for a while and um, I've gone to my own conclusion so I'm going to do a little bit of a, if you watch the video I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison between the three that I've found and what I'm using at present. See, I'm, I'm just using a, a standard uh, cheap 40 amp plasma cutter with a uh, compressor. So uh, we'll do a bit of a comparison and uh, see what you think. My thoughts, I think you already know what my thoughts are, but um, yeah, I, uh, I will show you what these machines can cut and what they can't cut basically, because you must realize when you're um, buying a plasma cutter with a built-in compressor, you are not getting the same power as what you're just buying a, a, a straight out plasma cutter because these, these machines suck a lot of juice. You know, they suck a lot of power. And um, if you've got to put a compressor on that as well, on the same drain, then you can't get the same amount of cutting amps out of your machine as what you can if you've got a, just a machine and a, and a compressor, if you follow my logic. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it, guys. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. And um, you guys can make up your own mind. But um, these machines range from about $720, I think, is the cheapest for the Hobart, right up to $1,800 for the Hypertherm machine. And uh, not any one of these three machines has the same cutting capacity as what my cheap 40 amp plasma cutter does. So uh, anyway, I'll give you a bit of a comparison, guys, and uh, you guys have a look and uh, tell me what you think. Right, so the first one we've got guys, have a look, uh, this is the Hobart and it has uh, got a built-in air compressor but this has a maximum cutting power of 12 amps. Now my Cut 40 machine, as you can see, it doesn't go any lower than 15 amps so that's the minimum we're going to have to do with the uh, first cut. And like I said, the first machine is only actually a 12 amp cut. So we'll put it on 15 amps and then we'll see how it cuts and what it cuts. All right guys, so let's see what 15 amps will cut. And remember, before you start cutting, put on your, um, your safety glasses. Um, they don't need to be as, uh, as dark as what they do when you're MIG welding or something, but just something to protect your eyes while you're plasma cutting. If you want to know more about uh, safety glasses and that sort of thing, just have a look up the top there right now, and I've got another video there explaining the different safety glasses and that for plasma cutting. Anyway, guys, let's get into it, and um, we'll see what we can cut. Right here, guys, what we've got here is a uh, my HF Start plasma cutter cutting a 3mm plate at 15 amps. It does cut it, um, it's pretty slow, but um, we'll see if we can uh, do it a bit better. Another three mil plate here, so we'll stick that on the top there and we'll see if we can just cut the edge off it. Fifteen amps, that cuts alright at fifteen amps. I wouldn't want to cut anything thicker. We can try. Right here, I have, if you can see that or not, there's five mil. Five mil, 15 amps. Let's have a go at that. As you can see there guys, we're having issues with that. It's not cutting all the way through. 15 amps is a really, really low amperage for a uh, plasma cutter, especially a high frequency um, plasma cutter machine like this. 
If you want to know the difference between high um, frequency and um, pilot arc, just click up the top there. I've got another video explaining that. So that's basically a 15 amp plasma cutter. So we'll leave that and we'll go on to the next one. And the next one we've got, guys, is a Fornley, and uh, that has a maximum cutting power of 15 amps. So the next machine is a 15 amp cut. So we will put this, so we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, and we'll put it on about 17, 18 amps, and we'll see what that cuts. The same three mil plate, but I'm at 18 amps. This time we've gone up three amps from the last time, see if that makes any difference. As you can see, that's a lot quicker and it's a lot cleaner cut and that's uh, 3 amps difference. So now we that have the 5mm, we'll have a go at the 5mm and see if we can make a um, cut on that with the 18 amps. As you can see, we almost went right through it. It was a lot better than the uh, 15 mil, I mean the 15 amp, but um, we still haven't seen the, uh, the biggest one that I could find in the range, which is the Hypertherm, and this has a cutting power of 30 amps. So the last machine for the comparison is a 30 amp cut, so we'll turn this up to 30, just over 30 amps, and we'll see what that cuts. Okay right, guys, now we'll have a go cutting with the up on 30 amps now, so this is equivalent to that 30 amp machine that I showed you. As you can see, that's a lot cleaner, that's a lot um, faster. I'm um, cutting on the uh, three mil plate anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's good on three mil plate. So we'll try the uh, 30 amp on the five mil. As you can see, 30 amps, severed that completely, cut it off, it's not too bad, it's not too fast, but it's alright, you get away with that, and it's actually starting to be useful that you can actually use it to actually manufacture something, or something like that. So that's the 30 amp guys, so now what I'll do guys, is I'll set my little machine on the 40 amp setting, and I'll show you what a 40 amp can cut. And bearing in mind that my 40 amp is a lot, still a lot smaller than the uh, cheap 50 amps you can buy on um, Amazon or something like that. I mean, my machine you can buy these days for about 200 bucks. So uh, just bear with me and I'll set it on to 40 amp and I'll show you what that'll cut. Last but not least is my little cut 40 that I use all the time and we'll whack that up to 40 amps and then we'll see how that cuts. Anyway guys, I've set mine up to uh, 40 amps. That's the maximum my little machine will run. But remember that I'm running a compressor on mine as well. So uh, at 40 amps, let's see what it'll do. Notice the difference there, um, straight cut, fast cut, clean cut, at, that's only 40 amps. The machines you get these days are little cheap ones that start at about 50 amps. So uh, yeah, so anyway that's at 3mm. So now we'll try cutting the 5mm guys at 40 amps. 
Hey, boy, I cut this. I don't know if you fellas have ever had welding flash. I got it the other day, and it's not the best, actually. Um, if you want to, some home remedies, how to cure that, um, it might help you out a little bit. Just click up the top of the video here, and uh, I'll show you how to uh, cure your welding flash if you get it. You know, just some home remedies. Anyway, guys, we'll uh, cut this up, and we'll see how this goes at 40 amps. Notice that, clean cut, fast cut, 40 amp, there's a huge difference between 15 amp and 40 amp, even 30 amp, there's a, there's a big difference in what you can do. Um, yeah, so I hope you've uh, seen my comparisons here, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of an idea that um, when you uh, buy a machine that's got an air compressor included, that you're going to lose a lot of cutting power. Anyway, so anyway guys, that's my little demonstration for what it's worth. It's not only the fact that you lose your power um, when you've got the compressor included in your machine, it's the fact that you don't get to use the compressor for other things. Like, um, every workshop's got to have a decent compressor, like, you know, if you want to spray paint, or if you're using a nail gun, or even, you know, if you've, you're standing down in your car or something and you want to use an orbital sander or a BA sander or something, you know, you've got to have a compressor, but you also got to have a decent compressor, something at least like 20 gallon, and, uh, You'll find the compressor will probably cost you twice as much than what your uh, little plasma cutter will. But uh, the compressor has multi uses as well. I mean, for the cheapest one of these combined units, plasma cutter compressor combined, starting at about $600 or $650, you can buy a cut 50 plasma cutter and a uh, 20 gallon compressor for the same money and you get double the bang for your buck. Anyway, guys, I hope you like my video. Um, if you do like my video, subscribe, drop a note down below there and uh, say hi. And uh, we'll catch you next time.